five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to the channel. If you saw my last video, you would have seen I schooled myself this little Yamaha AG175. So I've been looking for an old two-stroke trail bike for a while. Just a, you know, twin shocker thing. Anyway, I said to my mate, you got any old, you know, 175, 200 egg bikes or anything like that. So anyway, look what I come up with. Done a deal on this um, 175 Yamaha egg bike. Same as a DT, pretty much. Well, today, we're going to try and get it going. So it's been sitting here for a while. It's covered in poo and all that sort of stuff. It looks like it's got decent compression. Um, I don't know if it goes, but the fuel doesn't smell too terrible. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shake around and just see what happens. It was worth a try. We'll just see if we got fuel coming out. Yeah. And it seems as though that starter return spring's broken, which is a bit of a pain. But anyway, it won't stop us from starting it. Let's see if we got some spark. <laughs> yep, we got nice, healthy spark. I just chucked a bit of fuel in the guts. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Well, that's promising right off the bat. So you've got a fuel blockage, we'll get that sorted out and we're gonna go ring a ding ding around the farm. So I just took the bowl drain off and we've got nothing coming out, just a slight dribble. So I will give that a bit of a bang and see if we can get it to uh, flow. This is the uh, official and proper technique. I might have to um, pull it apart, I think. So I've got the carby apart, the needle was stuck and it's a bit scungeful in there, a little bit of crystallisation. So it might need a bit of an airline. I'm going to bet you that main jet's blocked as well. So let's see what we can work out. <coughs> She's blocked. Blocked solid. Yuck.
Well, wouldn't you know the lights even work? Check this out. Well, I don't know if you could tell from that um, little video, but uh, the clutch is completely worn out. So the video is not going to end here. I might do a bit of a clean up now. I'll organize the parts and before this video is over, we're going to be riding this thing. bits and bobs off and she starts to look like a raw bike. Let's give it a clean up. starting to look the part. Yeah, so I haven't really said what I'm doing with this. The reason I wanted one of these is to make a vintage motocross, a vintage enduro bike. Old school cool that I can afford. It's a cheap way to do it. Not a lot has changed. Well, this is an 84 model, but really they're pretty much the same as the late 60s DT1. And everything sort of bounced off that. So that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Vintage motocrosser, Vinjuro style. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, just an economical way to do it. It's going to look cool. It's got the right vibe going on. I'm probably going to replace the plastics. I'm definitely making up some side number plates and probably one for the headlight to keep with the vintage MX theme or Vinjuro as they say these days. But I definitely don't need two stands. We'll leave that one on there and um, let's cut this bad boy off. That's full factory race spec now. She's going to be so much faster. So I'd say she looked more like a DT now than a ag bike and the further we go, the more it'll look like a motocrosser, vintage MX enduro bike. It's amazing what you can achieve by just ripping off some of the accessories. It's dated with that um, color and that sticker on that tank. I'll uh, give that a coat of paint. I'm, I haven't decided yet what color to paint it, but I'm leading towards white like the old DT1. If I wanted to keep it red, it'd be the easiest, but like I said, it's dated. It says 80s, 80s Yamaha. Um, but all this stuff, a little bit of scrubbing. I started doing the front guard just a little bit. A little bit of scrubbing, get down, get all that chalky white stuff off. And then you just hit it with a heat gun and it'll come up like new. That's how I restore old plastics. But like I said, the red's dated. Yamahas weren't traditionally red in the 70s. So we're going for that 70s look because it can't look like an ag bike when I'm done. So anyway, at the start of this video, I said we'll have it running by the end of the video but I like to keep my video short and we'll make this a multi-part series I have ordered a new clutch for it that's on its way who knows how long it's going to take but we'll cut this one off here and um, let's watch this thing evolve into something cool it's going to be cool when I do my bikes I don't do them ready I don't do them patinaed I do them neat um, I've always been like that with my bikes for some reason with my cars I'm not so fast yeah, I like my bikes to look mint so yeah, stick around for this one. It's gonna be a cool build. Um, I'll get all the parts I need organized and I'll start working on my historic rego for it. And that's the beauty of something like this. I can put it on the road so I can ride it around whenever I want. But yeah, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. 
and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Cheers. See you later.